Unraveling the phrase, anchor up. Hello there, today, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, anchor up. You might have heard this in conversations or seen it in literature. Let's dive deep into understanding its meaning and how to use it. First things first, let's break down the phrase. The word, anchor, is a heavy object attached to a rope or chain and is used to hold a vessel in place in water. When you think of ships or boats, they use anchors to stay in a fixed position. Up, in this context, usually refers to the action of lifting or raising something. So, literally speaking, anchor up, could mean lifting or raising the anchor off the seabed, allowing a vessel to move. While its literal meaning is related to ships and maritime activities, anchor up can be used metaphorically in various contexts. 1. Preparation for a journey or new phase. Just as a ship raises its anchor before setting sail, saying, anchor up, can symbolically mean getting ready to embark on a new journey or enter a new phase in life. 2. Moving on, it can also mean letting go of something holding you back. Imagine being anchored by past mistakes or regrets. Saying, anchor up, can represent the decision to move past those hindrances and proceed forward. 3. Staying positive. Anchor up, can sometimes be used as a phrase of encouragement. If someone is feeling down or stuck, telling them to anchor up, is like saying, cheer up. Get ready to move forward and conquer challenges. To understand it better, let's look at a few example sentences. 1. After years of living in the city, I've decided it's time to anchor up and move to the countryside. 2. Don't let that one mistake hold you back. Anchor up and keep going. 3. I know you're feeling down about the test results, but anchor up. There's always a next time. The beauty of the English language is in its rich tapestry of idioms, phrases, and expressions. Anchor up is just one of those phrases that captures the essence of movement, change, and progression. We hope you found this explanation enlightening. Remember, language is not just about words, but also about the stories and emotions they convey. Happy learning!